Hey Spooky Gang, welcome back and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick review on a purse that I purchased not too long ago. I actually hauled this purse in a recent haul that I did here on my channel. So I will leave that video linked down below. If you guys want to check out my Halloween haul that I recently did, I will leave that link down below so you guys can see when I unbox this purse and everything basically. So I want to do a review on it already because I literally just got this purse and I want to do a review on it for a certain reason. So the purse that I want to review is the um, Tricks and Treats jack o lantern purse. I forgot what it was called, but I will leave the name of the purse up here somewhere and I will have the price because I can't think of it right off the top of my head but I will have the price and the name of the purse I did purchase this purse off of dolls kill website and I have purchased plenty of things from them before and it was on pre-order and I got it really quickly so I don't know if it's still available right now but it should be I mean yeah it should be me, I'm saying I don't know if it's sold out. So, but anyways, I would definitely leave a link down for this purse. I'm not sure if it comes in other colors. I really didn't check for that. I, I pretty it might it might come in other colors. As you guys can see, this is the front. My favorite part about the bag is the inside. Um, if you if you guys go back and watch my haul, you will see that I was really excited that I found out the inside was black and white stripes. That is. One of the best things in the world to me is the black and white stripes. They do have the brand right here, Tricks and Treats, and it does have a pocket in the inside, like a, yeah, just one pocket in the inside. And this is how much space you get in the bag. So I wore this bag for a, a total of like four days. I didn't even get a complete week out of this bag until it broke on me. Yes, the bag broke. Not the zipper, but I was in Ross. I think I was walking out, out of Ross. No, I was walking out of Marshalls. And I paid for my stuff and everything. And I was walking out and the strap just broke. I was like, what the hell? And I don't know if that was God saying you need to go home because you ain't got no business being in Marshalls. So it broke. And I was so mad. I was so mad. So I'm walking to the car. I was like, I'm going to go home. I'm going home. But Ross is is right. So Ross and Marshalls are right next door to each other. So I, when I leave Marshalls, I always walk into Ross. If I go into Ross first, I go into Marshalls. Either way it go, I had no business being in either one of them. So I just think that was a sign for me to go home. But you know what I did? I was mad and I sat there for a second. I'm like, but I want to go in Ross. I took my wallet. <laughs> I just took my wallet out my purse and I just put this in the back seat and covered my purse and I went in the store. I was like, <laughs> that's what I did. I just took my wallet out, went in the store. And I was so upset because I just bought this purse. I was excited to wear it for the month of October and it just broke on me like that. So yeah, this is where the strap goes in it right here. So I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do now? And there's no freaking way that I can sew it. My aunt has a sewing machine, but I'm going to have to ask her, like, do she have, like, the part? I don't know. I don't think. I think you need a certain type of needle to, like, sew stuff like this. Mind you, I did not have a lot of stuff in my bag. I only had, like, hand sanitizer, um, my wallet, a pen, some gum, some my earphones, and some receipts. Like, I didn't have much in my purse for it to break. So, I'm guessing that this purse right here, the one that I have, wasn't properly sewn all the way. The handles or the strap, that shouldn't have happened. Like, so, you know, I just got the bag. It's brand new, as you guys can see. So, yeah. Other than that, I really like the purse. I just need to get it fixed. My mom said I should probably check out a shoe repair store and see if they can fix it, which I'm pretty sure they can. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can kind of dip your hand in here easily. It's kind of tight. Like you can dip your hands in here, but um, I mean, it, it's shaped like a pumpkin, so it can get a little annoying. It depends on what you put in here. Like, I mean, you know, you can't put too much in this bag, but 
yeah that's pretty much what happened so if you're thinking about ordering this bag just be mindful of what you put in here but like i said i didn't even have a lot everything that i just named to you all was very light but yeah i just wanted to do a review on the bag because i really like it i was going to do a what's in my jack o lantern bag but i can't do it now i am using another spooky bag but girl yeah that's what happened to the purse and yeah that's my experience with the bag so far but other than that i it's super cute here's the strap it kind of hangs low like you know it's like by my hip and everything like that so yeah i just kind of wanted to you know let y'all know a lot of times when i'm in the store and i want to see if somebody made a review on a certain purchase or if i'm ordering a dress like off of fashion nova or something i would i like to type in the name of the dress and it usually pop up because somebody ordered it you know so yeah i wanted to be very helpful when it comes to this bag make sure you guys hit the subscribe button we're trying to get to 500 before halloween and you know i hope i hope it happens but if it doesn't that's cool too i'm glad you guys are here so i'll talk to you guys later bye